Okay guys, you wanted to see what I use to create my chess videos and for the chess streams. So here you have it. Um, I asked my wife to take a quick, a quick video with my phone and we're using my phone on purpose for you to see the contrast of what it is to record with a bad camera and microphone to the one that I typically use in the stream, right? So here you have my daughter, Sophia. I'm also going to show you my background. So it's typically this painting that you see a little bit blurry, but this is what it is. Um, of course, just some uh, photo albums from uh, from us. Um, you already saw my chess clock as well. And this chess set, you've seen it many times before in the shorts. But basically, you're gonna hear me now, guys, using my phone, and then you're going to compare that to the actual microphone and camera that I use on the stream. The real deal, what we need for the live stream, or if you want to record, uh, first of all, if you have been with me from the beginning, you know, for the first 100 videos, I didn't even show my face. So if you're not going to stream, you just need to record videos to contribute to the chess world. Well, you don't need a camera. Now, when it comes to the audio, that's 100, the most important part. Uh, the first 10 videos, you know that the audio is really bad. That's because I used to have one of these. Bad idea. Then I went through like 100 different um, microphones until I got that one. Now, that one is really expensive. So I'm going to show you all the ones that I used and they worked really well too. So just in case. Now, you don't need this lighting. There are so many other ways. I used to have a regular lamp. But, you know, eventually I said, you know what? I want something really good. And I got this one. Probably overkill, but it is what it is. So up to this point, what have we learned? Well, that I have a nice background and that's pretty much it. But honestly, guys, let's get um, really into the, what matters. And the first thing is, if you're going to just record videos, no streaming, just record videos to put on YouTube or anywhere you like. I'm using this software for recording the screen, for um, editing the videos after, and it is called screen flow so let me see if it shows okay right here you can see once you open it you download it you open it you have either to do a new recording so right here i have my camera and i'm gonna show you later how you connect your camera and so on the microphone and you can actually choose from the different ones and this is one that i used to have right like a, a normal webcam um and then you have the different microphones that you can choose from now here i could also pick let's say i click the the plus sign i could choose to pick up the computer audio as well so sometimes i'm playing chess online and you hear the the sound of the of the pieces or the moves that's because i chose that option and so on so pretty much this records your screen so as i'm playing this this records it right and i just click uh by the way once you click on this thing that's the screen recorder part you cannot forget to press that and then uh start and you start recording now if let's say i already have the recording well automatically it's going to take you to the part where you edit the video or if you want to save it later you could come here to new document and you choose the dimensions and everything else you hit this one over here and it's going to take you to something like this where you're basically going to be bringing on the the video wherever you want to edit with and guys i'm not going to give you a tutorial on how to use this because I'm leaving the link to the video that I used to learn how to use it. It's very simple. The good thing about this is that it delivers a good product, but it is made for beginners like you and I, right? I, I have no idea about this stuff. I just looked at that video that I'm leaving the link to in the description and that was enough for me to get going. Now, it is not free. You have to pay for it. But honestly, guys, I know there are other options you could use for free, but this is what I use. I used to use another one for the first like 100 videos, but it was also paid and it was not as good as this one. But still, if you want to check it out, the other one was Camtasia. So it's also paid. You could look into it. So using this ScreenFlow software, I recorded my screen and I was able to edit it. That's it. Once you do that, you export. So if I go here, uh, let me see if it shows. There's an option here, export to file. You export that, upload it to YouTube or any way you want, you got your video done. Now, when it comes to streaming, I want to be very clear. Everyone, I mean, all, most people use OBS and OBS is completely free. It works very well. I've tried it before, but I like this one better. Now, this one, the thing with Ecamm Live is that it is only up to this point, it is only for Mac users. But now the most important thing you should know is that OBS 
Ecamm Live or many other um, streaming softwares, I have tried so many, they're pretty much the same thing, guys. So let me show you pretty much what you want. If I show you here with the chessboard already uh, open, basically what you have is different scenes. So whatever you use, OBS or this is the same thing, right? Basically, you have different scenes. And basically, for this one, you see I have one for chess.com. I have one that is full. It shows the full screen. So if I go here, you see it is showing the whole chess.com website. If I go bigger cam, so this is me with a bigger cam. So, I mean, this is a little bit nonsense, but it just works for me. When I'm using the classroom on chess.com, it, it gives you this scene. And basically what this means is that it is going to change like each one of these things, the camera, uh, the board that you see, these are like little items that you can play around with. If I bring this, for example, you can see that um, these are just the different items that I put on this specific scene, right? So my timer, I did like a little screen share that shows my timer right here, um, my opponent's timer, this is my username right here, and so on, the logo, all of these things, you add them up, very simple. Here, you add pictures, um, here you add the screen share, text, and so on. Now, I'm not gonna go deep into it either, because I'm leaving the link to the videos that I used to learn. I Guys, at the beginning, to me, it seemed overwhelming, all of these things for streaming and so on, but this guy that I'm leaving the, links, uh, the link to, he does a great job breaking it down for you if you want to try this. Now, if you're not, if you don't want to pay for it, if you're not a Mac user, whatever reason it is you don't want to use this, just know OBS is the same thing. You download it for free and it's the same thing. You create scenes using the same approach that we use right here, right? So that's what I use for streaming. Now, let's talk about the part that a lot of you might be a little bit uh, concerned about, which is the different gears, how do I use the camera, what camera did you buy, how did you connect it. So starting with the computer, I have a regular laptop, I have tried different computers, you're gonna be fine. Now, like I showed you, I have a big monitor and that's because when I'm streaming, I need to be looking at the chess game, but also I need to be looking at the stream in the background. So I need to have space for all of that. Also guys, you don't know how many uh, monitors I bought on Amazon to try them out, sent them back because I needed one that had quality uh, for my eyes. So I'm leaving the link to all of this equipment. If you wanna buy it, you can buy it through that link because I get a commission if you do that. So, <laughs> but honestly, you're gonna see that a lot of this stuff is really expensive because after two years doing this, I said, okay, I wanna get something that is really good that is gonna work out for me. There are other options, sure, but this is what I use, right? So I got the big monitor, the computer goes to it, you need the HDMI cable. I'm leaving the link to that as well to connect it. I'm also leaving the link to the mic that I'm using. Plus, I'm leaving the link to other two that I used to have, which were really, really good. They are not as expensive and they did a pretty good job for me. Now, one thing that really bothered me all the time is that whenever I recorded with a microphone, I'll get this background noise. It's like bzzz or something that was really annoying. Now, later I found out if I go back here to, let me see if this opens up, you're gonna see guys that there's an option right here where it says filter and it says remove. So I'm not, I'm not showing the whole thing, but basically um, remove background noise. So you could play around with this and this is something that ScreenFlow does a better job than the other software that I had. So don't worry about that. You could try different microphones, just get a good software that allows you to remove the background, right? So that's as, as far as microphones. Now, cameras, I tried so many. If you look at the first streams that I did, I looked so bad, the colors, everything. I mean, I don't care, you know that, I don't care about that, but many people do. And honestly, guys, if you're looking for good quality, those are not the best. Now, what did I do? I did some research. I found this camera. I'm leaving the link in the description as well. And just know, it is expensive, but compared to other cameras, not so expensive. Like this is the cheapest that could give you good quality, right? So I've, I saw cameras that people paid $2,000, $3,000 for the camera, and that was a, a little bit too much. Now this one is good, but it is only good if you use a lens with it, a specific lens. The, the lens that comes with it, I, it, it wasn't good. I didn't like it. So you have to spend another two, three, four hundred dollars for that lens. But even with the lens, which is expensive, when you combine it, it's going to be less than those really expensive cameras, right? So that's this is the camera that I'm using. On top of that, you're going to need this little thing. It's like a, 
like a little reader that is going to allow you to bring the camera signal or the image to the computer to the stream. I know there are some cameras that you don't need this, so you're gonna have to do your research. For this one, last time I checked, I needed it. I think there's an option also to do it directly without it, but it's going to affect the quality of your video. So with that said, let me make sure that I'm not missing anything. If you're going to record a video, ScreenFlow records the screen. It also records your um, face like it's doing right now using this camera. So you need the camera, you need ScreenFlow, you need a computer. Then if you're going to stream, you also need a streaming software which I use Ecamm Live. Most people use OBS, it's free. I've tried it, it's really good. I just like this one better. And that's it guys. If I'm missing anything, let me know in the comments. You know that I always reply and I will be happy to help you. Also, if you're already a streamer and you have any tips, help me, help everyone else. Just let me know in the comments things that you have found that have uh, helped you. So with that said, I will see you guys in our next video.